China and Denmark. That is your judge. First up, the mixed doubles in the semifinal. Denmark used Michael Sogard and Ricky Olsen. Here they go with Jorgensen and Christensen against Guffey and Liu Yang. Your commentators for this match as we pick it up in the second set, Jillian Clark and Anthony Bush. Oh, that's wonderful. Obviously, the Danish pair understand that there's no point getting into a fast, furious game. They've got to block the shuttle. They've got to turn it, take the pace off occasionally. We've seen some lovely shots from Anne Jorgensen. It's just her few service errors at the moment, but she's breaking the wrist at the very last moment, waiting for the Chinese to commit themselves before playing her shots. Oh, it's landed in. Seemed awfully confident as he left that, but no question was on the line. And then seemed to rush his serve. Yesterday, Anthony, you were talking to me about perhaps the mental frailty of Lu Yong. Just didn't look pumped up yesterday for the first game and a half. It was only when they started to get some points to get back into the match that he start to raise his fist a lot and, and play with the passion. That's what needs to happen to the Chinese. They've really got to get some belief, really go for this match. I don't, I'm not sure that it's really lack of passion with the Chinese. I think that he's, he's almost crippled by nerves. There's such a responsibility out there, as we keep saying about playing the first match in the overall tie. That definitely a nervous shot to me. Tension in the arm, just not allowing Lu Yong's racket to flow through. Bewildered. Certainly do. What what they're not getting is Jonas Christensen hitting the shuttle as hard as he can at them. He's placing it. Okay, it's taking him two or three shots before he sets up Anne Jorgensen, but he's prepared to do it. So when the Chinese are having to defend and they're having to put the pace on the shuttle, generate the pace themselves because he's not hitting it that hard, is that why they're making so many errors on defence? It is quite difficult. It's easy to play off another player's pace and drive the shuttle back, or if you're going to block it, just let the shuttle rebound off the strings. If you've got to then start to hit the shuttle, that's when errors can happen. Once again, a tremendous start for Denmark. Five, love. Well, I remember they won, went seven, love, in the opening game, the Danes. But that's just long. Six nodes, second server. Just long. Just seemingly overstretching for that kill, Gerfay. Thought she could reach second it, but ended up extending the arm too far and couldn't control the racket head. That's a clever smash. Much flatter at the face of Van Jorgensen. Retreated away from short left. really what the Chinese have to do. They have to try and get on the attack more and really push Anne Jorgensen back from that net area. Great play. Certainly was set up in the movement by Jan Hols Christensen. Moves forwards, takes the shuttle out in front of him. That's how he can create that angle. She is very sharp at the net. Anything played a little bit loose, as that one was, and she'll pounce on it. It 
it seems to me as if it's very much a question at the moment is which pair can get on the attack. And whichever pair is achieving that, they're winning the rallies. Certainly is the key. And by attack, it's not just all out hitting the shuttle hard, as Jan Hos Christensen demonstrates here. Pure placement onto the body of Gerfay, making it difficult for her to retrieve it. Shuffle bouncing before Jan Holst retrieved that. And Jorgensen going for the deceptive net shot. It's all very well as long as you can still take it near the top of the tape. The Danes just asking for the court to be mocked. Perspiration dripping down. It also gives a slight break in play. This match has been played with such intensity. Again, she anticipated so well. Certainly did. Good court positioning. She moves into the space that Jan Holst leaves, plays the backhand kill, but look at that racket, that's what's so impressive. It's immediately springing back up. Indecision there. The indecision leading Jan Holst to just be late to the shuttle. And then really had to arch his back and mistimed his smash. By that I mean Jan Hos Christensen was hitting all the shuttles, but she was doing so well by moving into the spaces, and that's what enabled her to take that half chance. It's not just the player hitting the shuttle that's doing the work. It was forced to lunge deep, and good leg strength. Then she sets off towards the front of the court. Jan Hos Christensen taking every opportunity to have a break when he can. Take on board some more liquids. Of course, he's the oldest player on court, the age of 30. Vastly experienced. That's in. That's a great return. It certainly is. It looked like she was struggling, took it quite low, but still managed to push it past the front person. He was there. And I just wonder how crucial that might prove to be. Remember, they were seven love up in this second game, having taken the first. I think on that kill, it would have been easy for Jan Holst to have played the straight one, but that's where the Chinese were. So he tried to just break the wrist and play it cross court, and hit it in the net. That's this hit from Gerfei. Setting up the easy kill for Jan Holst. Uh, just hit the top of her frame. It was right to go for the interception if she had managed to get it going down and straight. It would have really isolated Anne Jorgensen and would have probably been a winner.
Jan Holst relies so much on his speed of movement around the court. If he is slipping slightly on the perspiration that's dropped down, it will affect him drastically. Well, she really is playing so well at the moment, and Jorgensen. And again, your point, the fact that she's moving off the shuttle, she's threatening at the net, really forced Lu Yong to make that error. But she does look vulnerable when she's pushed back in court and having to defend. Quite definitely. That's the one thing the Chinese can take heart from if they can get on the attack. And Jorgensen is suspect on a defence, but she really is playing good, aggressive badminton at the moment. And because those chances to attack are coming so few and far between for the Chinese, it's almost as if they're trying to snatch at the opportunities instead of being patient, building their way into the rallies. on the move again. Again, the little placement for Man Jorgensen at the front. In step Jon Holst Christensen with a big power smash. Racket poised again. Very impressed with her racket carriage in this game. Good placement of the smash. Just wide. And Lu Yong making one or two errors at the moment. If China to come back in this, he's got to cut those out. Quite definitely, if he's going to cut the errors out, he's then going to start to get the shuttle into play, and invariably, that'll mean Gurfea get more of the game. Just wide. Yes, we haven't really seen an awful lot of Gurfea so far in this match, but I've really put that down to the quality of the Danish play. Quite definitely, a combination of that, the Danes just not giving her the opportunity, and also Lu Yong hasn't really been attacking very well so far. If he has attacked, he's tried to be a little bit selfish, go for the big winner, and we haven't seen Gerfe brought into play. So he's got to start to play for his partner. Turn of serve. Just brushed across the base of the shuttle. Took it early. Everything about that racket head movement was the fact he was going to play it fast. Dinked it over the net. better at crouch defence than the normal conventional defensive play, underarm play. That's right, she seems to get caught a little bit far back in the court. Whether or not she could step up a little bit more to those smashes and take them in that crouch defensive position. Clipping and Jorgensen's racket before it went through to Jan Holst Christensen. Uh, so it's just sensing before that rally that the Chinese really have to start making their move now if they're to come back. 
quite definitely a good switch on that attack. Played one down the forehand side of Jon Hols Christensen, and then in step Gerfay redirected it down to the backhand side of Anne Jorgensen. Well, his backhand was working so well in the opening game. Lou Yong got a couple of errors from it now. to pressurise your opponents. Both the Danish players at the net looking for the kill. That's brilliant. That compact movement stays low down, drives forwards, buries the shuttle cross court. This time it's Lu Yong that asks for the little time out to have the court mopped. Perspiration on the Chinese side of the court. Really is becoming now or never for the Chinese. They've got to really make a big push to try and get back into this second game. the Danes are doing and they're now just two points away from the opening match despite the extravagant dive from Jon Hols Christensen that was a lovely stroke from Lu Yong full stretch got his racket to it but it was the placement from the Chinese player Retrieving from Jan Hols Christensen, his partner was pulled out of position. And here's Denmark on match points. Well, Lu Yong surprised that the Danes had retrieved so many shots. And even that finishing smash that Lu Yong put in the net was really a nothing shot. And Jorgensen could have easily just driven that up the line. The quality of Gerfei. now for Denmark to close out this opening match. The crowd around us are on their feet. We can hardly see the court. But they'll have to wait a little longer. A good flat smash from Gerfei, just catching the back line. Third match point. The Danish players embrace. Well, we stayed at 
the start of this match. Surprise selection for Denmark to have Jan Holst Christensen and Anne Jorgensen. But what a stroke of genius by Denmark. They played a different pair, they played brilliantly, and Denmark have taken the opening match 15-10, 15-8.